Baltimore. Good morning, McLaughlin. I'm Jonathan Fritz. And I'm Peyton Purvis, and this is your McLaughlin News. Last night, girls' gold team basketball played Chinook at Chinook, and girls' blue basketball played Stevens at Stevens. The girls' gold 8th grade team went undefeated. Great job, ladies. Next week, spring sports start, which include boys' baseball, girls' softball, boys' and girls' track, and boys' and girls' tennis. If you have any more questions, talk to Mr. Heising. Madeline caught up with two A-team basketball players. Hi, Mal. I'm here with Maya and Alexia, and they are from A-team, and how did you guys do this week? We did good. We won. We beat Shinnok. By, like, 20. Yeah. Um, how did your team do? Um, we did good. We did really well. Yeah. How did you guys do individually? Um, I scored 17 points in the first quarter. And then I, I blocked the shot. It was my team. <laughs> This Saturday in Richland at the Courtyard Hotel, the Academic Advantage event will be held. If you are interested in the dental or medical field, they invite you and your parents to come and learn more. You will be taught how to get into the ideal college and be successful. A panel of medical professionals will give you a presentation. After the presentation, you will be able to go down and ask questions about the medical professionals. Tannerwick's annual River of Fire fireworks show will be continued. Late last year, the fireworks show was canceled and is back with, as HAPO as its sponsor. This fireworks show will be a 20 minute long show and the fireworks will be fired off a large bar. Today in regional news, Keeper News states, another ambitious effort to pass a carbon tax in Washington state has falters and Bill's, spon and Bill's prime sponsor said Thursday that there wasn't enough votes to pass the measure out of the state senate. Washington would have been the first U.S. state to impose straight tax on carbon from fossil fuels like electricity and gasoline, and legislation has been watched closely. Today is National Read Across America Day, National Employee Appreciation Day, National Old Stuff Day, National Banana King Pie Day, and National Speech Debate and Education Day. So lay on the couch and read a book, clean out your old stuff or just appreciate it, debate about a topic with a friend, eat a banana cream pie, and make sure to learn as much as possible today. This day in American history in 1776, after two straight days of bombardment, American Bridger General John Thomas slipped 2,000 troops, cannons and artillery into position, just south of Boston of, at Dorchester Heights. The 56 cannons involved in the move were those taken at Ticonderoga, New York, by Lieutenant Colonel Benedict Arnold and Ethan Allen with his Green Mountain Boys, which had then been transported to Boston by Colonel of Artillery Henry Knox the previous winter. Today's birthday. Today's birthdays are Terrence Cobb, Isaiah Medina, Daisy Wright, Daisy Wright, Eunice, Estrada, and Crystal Keaton. Have a splendid birthday, folks. Have an amazing day today, Panthers. See you later.